that's for. Today I'm going to show you how you can tighten your X and Y axis belts. It's very simple. We're going to start out with the X axis first. All, you need, all you're going to need is a 2.5 hex key and just follow these instructions. First off, you're going to want to pull your gantry to the front of your bot. And you're going to have to loosen four, four screws that are on the right side of the gantry that are attached to the, to the X motor. Very simple, simple to loosen. You do not want to remove them though. You just need to loosen them so you have a little bit of play with the actual motor that they're attached to. There you go. Now that you've gotten those loosened up, you're going to want to pull your gantry back just a little bit to about the middle of the bot. At this point, you're going to want to grab the motor that the, that the belt is attached to with your middle and index finger and pull back. While you're pulling back, creating the, the necessary tension on the, on the X belt, you're going to want, want to tighten the four sets, four screws that we had just loosened in order to create the proper amount of tension. It's very easy. Now that they're they're all tightened again, you can feel that that your X belt is now tight. The way that you really need it to have proper proper motion on your extruder. Now we're going to move on to the to the Y belt. What we're going to need for that is a 5.5 socket wrench that you can find at any hardware store. Very easy. What we're going to have to do is loosen the two nylock nuts one at the top and one at the bottom of the, the y, mo y motor harness. Just loosen it, you don't actually have to remove them. And it's a very similar principle as the X, mo X motor tightening. You're going to want, want to push down on the Y motor in order to create the proper tension for the Y, y belt. Want them, it's a little bit harder than the X, X motor, but it can easily be done too. go. Another tight belt. Having tight belts will help reduce the amount of drift that happens. We don't want any drift happening with, the, with your bots. That's why tightening your X and Y axis belts is very, very important and hope, hope this helps you out. 